New York City. It's the financial capital of the world. It's also the host of REIT World 2010, NARIT's annual convention for all things REIT next month. New York City is also the subject of this month's Word on the Beach, monthly market insights from Green Street Advisors. Joining me via video conference from Green Street's Newport Beach headquarters is Michael Knott, head of Green Street's office research team. So, Michael, how critical is Manhattan to the office REIT sector, and what makes it such an important market? It's the most liquid, the deepest, and the strongest market in the U.S., and so the REITs are attracted to the high barriers to entry, the, the strong historical rent growth, and the, the good performance generally that it's had. And investors are attracted to the same features. And how about your outlook for leasing fundamentals? Leasing costs are still elevated, and it's still a tenant's market, but the good news from that is that vacancy is starting to come back to that 10% level. It's going to reach that before too long, probably. And when you start getting to that level, you're starting to, to reach the outer edges of equilibrium between supply and demand. So that's, that's a positive. Uh, as the market continues to heal over the next few years, we expect that it will post the strongest recovery in fundamentals among major U.S. office markets, which is a positive. However, the recovery should pale in comparison to the 05 to 07 time frame. And given the outlook that you just described, what concerns you about some of the risks to that outlook? One thing in particular that we spent some time thinking about with respect to Manhattan office is the, some of the clouds we see gathering over finance and some of the challenges that that business will have. Finance is the key economic engine for Manhattan. It's not the only driver, but it's, it's the most important driver. And we see challenges in the finance business. And in, in a nutshell, we expect that finance profits and the contribution of finance profits to total U.S. corporate profits will continue to recede over the next several years. And that will pose a bit of a headwind for Manhattan and introduce some challenges to the office market. Okay, Michael. So looking at the bottom line, what's happened to building values in New York City? Office building values in New York City rose dramatically through the peak, far more than anyone would have expected, I, I believe. And uh, unfortunately, they had a pretty horrific crash during the, the depths of the downturn. Now, while there weren't a lot of properties trading near the bottom, there were some individual sales that were as much as two-thirds off of peak value. So there were, you could conclude that there were pretty dramatic declines in asset values. Financing conditions and the outlook for fundamentals were very horrible at, at the bottom of the market. And so, uh, but the good news is that since that time, over the past year and a half, credit markets have repaired themselves remarkably and asset values have, have risen as a result and fairly dramatically. The Green Street Commercial Property Price Index component uh, of values, our, our Manhattan office values for the REITs that we cover, in our opinion, have risen on average about 50% from the bottom. Pretty dramatic rise. Uh, we're still at about two-thirds of peak value, so we still have a ways to go to get back to where we were at the peak. And lastly, where do you see the investment sales market going? Real estate will continue to fare very well, in particular Manhattan office real estate. Uh, first of all, real estate is a yield generator in an environment where yield is very highly valued, and so that's a very positive feature uh, that, that is uh, taken into account by investors. But also, Given that monetary authorities around the world, including here in the U.S., seem to be in a race to debase currencies, real estate also offers you more of a longer-term hedge against some bad things happening to, to paper, uh, to, to currencies, et cetera, especially uh, the dollar. And so it's a hard asset. It's not a financial asset. And so the combination of yield and growth and also a hedge against bad things potentially happening to currencies down the road I think those are all reasons why real estate will continue to fare well in this type of environment in a new normal, low-return world. Thank you, Michael. As Michael said, it looks like New York City is going to continue to be one of the dominant markets for office REITs. For more on this and other information, please visit REIT.com. I'm Matt Beecher.